Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so let's solve this uh this problem. Uh, yeah, this interview problem. So called dynamic dice game. A casino comes with few fancy dice game. Uh, with a fancy. Okay, so you allowed to roll dice as many times you want unless a six appears. After each roll, if one appears, you win one, two appears, you win two, five appears, you win six, a five, a six appears, all the money you won in, in the game starts and the game stop. Okay, so whatever you see, you see six, then you, you suck, right? After each roll, if the dice one to five, then you can decide where to keep the money or keep on rolling. Okay, so this problem is interesting. You can keep, keep, keep. Okay, until you get six. So how much you're willing to pay again? Okay. Okay, so the idea is that, uh, so basically simply speaking that you want to find the, pro the expectation value of of playing this game, right? So the expectation, the expectation of that money that you, you, that you can get. And this is hard to find, right? Because uh you get one to two to three three to four to five right but if you go to if you get six then you lost so you need to you need some terminal you need some terminal condition that uh that uh, you you that that uh, you will not throw okay so let's let's do the simple calculation right suppose you already have a money suppose you already have the money then what is the next uh what's the next round that the expectation value of 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 the final money that 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 you can get okay so if you have money then then you have two choices right one is that you just you just stop if you stop then you remaining a money if you keep going then you get one divided by six um plus one one divided by six and um, plus two plus one divided by six and um, plus three and then you have up to one divided by six and um, plus five okay so you can calculate this this is five n plus 15 okay right should yeah, should be 15 and uh so this is just uh 5n divided by 6 plus 2.5 okay so you can ask what is the uh who uh which which one is larger right so you you, uh, you can just try to solve this okay then you will get uh Look at this n equals to uh, 15. Uh, right, so that means when n equals to 15, that uh, that uh, that you you will choose stop stop right because even though n is 15, you still have the you have still have the chance that you lost all the money right. So in this case, that you will then that that you will stop. Okay, so we we one can easily see that when you have 15 that you will that expectation value of money is 15 right because you will stop but there is a case that you might get 16 right because maybe in the previous you still you so it means that when less than 14 that you will you will keep keep throwing right so when you are 14 that you may get five right you so you may get so uh so what when you have 14 right then by our rule that you will keep your story right so your largest one make it 19 and then 18 17, 16, 15. And then in all these cases that you will stop, right? So expectation value of 16 is 16. Expectation value of seven, you have 17 money is 17 because you will stop. You will stop, right? you will stop. And uh, maybe 18 is 18, you will stop. stop. Okay, then you can, now you can solve, and you can use dynamic programming the kind of idea right Re recursion formula to go back so so you can solve 14 and how to solve 14 you can because it in by our computation right at 14 you will throw the next right so you get one divided by six expectation value of all this average right so it's one divided by six plus so it's 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. Okay, then you can you can solve expectation of 13, just one the also one divided by six, and you get the 14, 15, seven, uh, 16, 17, 9, uh, eight, 18. Okay, so you get the expectation value of n will be one divided by six. It's for n less or equal 14, one divided by six plus expectation of n plus i from one to five okay and uh, the boundary condition is that uh, 15 15 
16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19. Okay, you, you plug in and then just go back to solve. And the final, you can ask what is the expectation of zero, right? Suppose you don't have money. And then this is very simple, right? You just connect everyone and the sum of it just, and, right? You can write code. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think I write a code before. So it's here that uh, you start from 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. So just very possible Python code. You go to range 15 and then you sum over the final five number and then you divide it by six and add it to the previous. Okay, so you can print it. So the final answer for the zero is 6.15. This is the, if you go, go to find some online resources, you will get the same number. Okay, so this is why this number is come up. So answer is 6.15, 6.15, 6, 6 6.15. Okay, now this is the solution. Okay, and uh, for 14, this 14 plus 1.16, right? This is, so it's greater than 14, right? Because you 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 are, you're, uh, you will throw, throw next time. Okay, so see you guys uh, next video.